Hey Geek Family, we're back. This time we're going to check out another video from the Best Ever Food Review Show. This one is Whole Indian Sheep Chukka with Village Food. And I'm Nathan. I'm Rachel. Trinity. Troy. Jordan. We are all here as a, as a family, finally, going to watch some more videos. But real quick before we do, just want to say thank you guys again for all your support on the channel. And if you can, can you hit that like and the subscribe button, followed by the notification bell. Hey! hey. Hey, there you go. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go back and check out another video. It's been a little bit since we've uh, since we've watched one of these. We're kind of dying to, to check it out. We're all doing a nutritional thing, so we're all <laughs> super hungry at the moment. So, of course, what's the best thing to do? Watch a video on some good food. So that, that won't make us uh, any more hungry, will it? Uh, so you know what? Let's not delay anymore. It's a little bit long video, so let's check it out. Look at all that meat. Yeah, your water. Dang. There's a food niche oh, on YouTube that millions okay, are watching, but juice. even more know nothing not about. Clear. I'm not talking about foodie ASMR Stop. or outrageous eating challenges. I'm talking about Village Food Channel. Through the power oh, of YouTube, motivated creators from all over the world are able to make a living by picking up a camera and telling the stories of food all around them. From Around Me BD, a village food channel in Bangladesh with over half a billion views. No! Mui oh, Mim a oh, Vietnamese God. village food channel based in the Mekong Delta. And my new friends at Village Food Factory, a South Indian channel whose most popular video reached Ooh. over 50 million people. Today, I'm in India. <laughs> joining Village Food Factory in their first ever collaboration. Their channel is blowing food channels out of the water. I'll get a behind the scenes look at how they make a video that millions are dying to see. Today's menu, homemade meat. mutton, seasoned and spiced with daddy's secret masala mm. blend. This was a whole sheep like a few hours ago, and then now look at all this food. This is incredible. But before okay. we start, I gotta know, why did they call him daddy? Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my talk show. Today we have special guest, Village Food Factory, and by my side is Irfan from Irfan's View. My name is Sunny from the Best Ever Food Review Show. Today we're just outside the city of Chennai at a local orphanage. The plan is to cook up a feast and share it with the children here. Something Village Food Factory does often after preparing oh, wow. huge amounts of food. First of all, all three of our channels are here. It's an epic collaboration, and I want to say thank you so much for coming here today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. This is Arumugam, the face of Village Food Factory. You may know him as Daddy. Why do people call you Daddy? So his son, when he shoots it, he calls him Daddy. Ah, oh, so now everybody calls you Daddy. Yeah. 64 years old and still kicking out unique recipes several times a week for the world to see. This man knows his way around a kitchen, especially when the kitchen is a fire pit in the middle of nowhere. There you go. I noticed you have six fingers on one hand. Seven fingers. You have seven fingers? Yeah. Seven Left fingers? Side, seven oh, wow. Fingers, right there, six fingers. Oh, it's very unique. Uh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Today we are eating a sheep. How are you going to cook it? Mutton chuka. Mutton chuka is a local dish in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu. You can find it all over in restaurants, each with their own style. But today, I'm lucky enough to taste Arumugam's recipe directly. Step one, dispatch no, one sheep, no, draining no, it no. Did he kill it in the halal way? Yes, he did. He said it in the halal way. It's over. And then the important thing is when you do halal way, you are making all the blood yeah, outside. It's yeah. impurity. So. I've eaten a lot of blood in my day. <laughs> one, two, yeah. three, don't think, oh. just two. No. It's one of those shocking foods because there's blood in it. Wow, it's actually good. This is really <laughs> blowing my mind. A lot of people don't like that. Thing. I've but seen. Remove the skin and take no, out the I organs. Can't watch that we'll need those later. Do we eat no, the this part's fine. Pretty soon. Uh, this. People eat it, but I don't eat it. I don't like it. Let's ask Daddy. Yeah, uh, uh, He said, yeah, we can eat. Oh, do you think you can bend your rules for today? Yeah, later. Yeah, sure. We'll do. Oh. This video is kind of half about the preparation of the sheep, but also about how these guys operate. Right now, they're Whoa. essentially staging the thumbnail. The thumbnail is so important. That's like your movie poster for the video. So it needs to be appealing, appetizing, interesting, create curiosity so people will click on it. Epic thumbnails. Something many village food channels seem to have in common. And the more epic, the better. 
Some might call it photoshopping, <laughs> but I call it artistic alterations through the use oh. of software enhancements. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Those were his lungs? Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? This man just inflated these sheep lungs. Well, they look very bright and healthy now. Yeah, they do. It's really the sheep, pink. not smoking. And I smoke it. Chin up, eyes bright, smile wide, snap a pic, and that is how you make a million dollar thumbnail. Wow. We are on a tight schedule. The kids are in class now, but they've got to eat soon. The entire sheep is chopped into tiny pieces, including the head and organs. Oh, wow. Then it's rinsed cleaned a few times with water. Ingredients are ready, time to cook. When we touch a wood, do this. That's not Indian a... food is all about the spices, and Village Food Factory's <laughs> menu is no exception. Is that Daddy, what do you call this pan? Oh. Got it. Our pan is right here. Coriander. Oh, coriander. Oh. What's sure. Coriander? It's a spice. That is? Yeah. Okay, I did it wrong already. <laughs> yeah, all right, then we got cumin <laughs> right. seeds, Pepper. peppercorns, red chili. Red chili. Ooh. Ooh. That is going to be spicy. This is their daily life. Daddy does the cooking, the oldest son That's does the kick. filming, editing, and thumbnail design, and the next oldest son helps with everything else. Their shooting style is simple and straightforward. I'd get shot to my spot. Not like those overproduced food shows that count on tons of cutting and music to keep your attention. <laughs> you mean like you? They shoot with a DSLR and edit videos in such a way that you feel like you are there alongside them. In the channel, 28% people are watching is from US. Really? Yeah. For me, 32%. So similar. That's crazy. I believe it's this real and simple look into rural life and oh, village good. Indian cooking that's grabbed the attention of millions. And all those people are going to watch us eat sheep spleen right now. No. Are we going to eat that like a popsicle? Like ice cream? Very, very tasty. Very tasty. Okay. I think I should have stayed a bit. Take a look at that. It's got a I little bit organs. of carcinogens on the outside. But the inside, that's kind of what it looks like. It just yeah. kind of looks like liver too much. Right. So to we're me. dicing it into liver. little pieces. It's still steaming hot off the fire. Oh, bite it? Okay, you can have that piece. <laughs> <laughs> looks very chewy. It's like a liver pate. Very See, charred on the outside, but there's no salt or anything on you. Nope, you just do it on the skewer and put it on the fire. It's good? Very nice. Wow, you're hungry. I'll have a little bit more. Yes. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, it's a little red in the middle, but he's eating a red piece too, so I think it's got to be fine, right? I gotta say, it's all right, but you're a big fan. Back to the mutton chuka. Spices are roasted, time to grind. Then take a huge pot and add water, bay leaves, cloves, star anise, cinnamon, and the mutton. There the whole animal go. became just little bite-sized pieces, bones and everything in there. Even the head of this sheep, oh. they even chunked oh gosh, into these little pieces that you see in here. Add turmeric and salt. While that boils, I get a chance to learn how Village Food Factory operates behind the lens. Speaking with Arunogam's oldest son, Gopina. How long did it take you to make money from the channel? Just three months. What the? <laughs> I'm doing wrong. <laughs> it took me like 1.5 years. <laughs> He's like, this guy sucks at this. This is the magic of YouTube. Nobody here approached a powerful film studio in India and pitched a cooking show idea to executives. They picked up a camera and got to work and went from obscurity to authority. How Good has man. YouTube changed your life? That's awesome. Really changed. Before this, he even had a rental car, but now he has his own car. Own house. Own car. New house? Yes. A new house. When did you get the house? For near uh, seven months later. Papa, you come back. Daddy, you come back. I'm bringing the car. Before YouTube, nobody respected them like in their village, but now. Uh, everybody wanted to see daddy. For anyone who's flirted with the idea of starting a channel, appearing on screen, or picking up a camera, if you're looking for your sign to go ahead and get started, this is it. These guys are an inspiration and a symbol of possibility. Are you worried about running out of ideas? Cooking on the uh, innovation. Cooking on the endless. He said he's not afraid. Cooking is an innovation, so he can create more and more in the coming days. Mm, that's amazing. Yeah, I agree. So guys, we're halfway through the cooking process, so he's gonna put some of the broth into these cups here. I don't know about all this stuff being metal. That is incredibly hot. Very like mutton and turmeric kind of smell to it. 
Mmm. It's like almost creamy. It's so fatty. It's very yummy. Look at this. It's kind of like a mutton tea. Mutton soup. Mutton tea. <laughs> it's very delicious. It's just super fatty, a tons of mutton flavor and, and some salt. It's like an appetizer. Yeah. Okay. The dish is not yet complete, but Daddy cannot help but give me a taste of steaming hot mutton. Okay, here we go. Oh, mm, uh-huh. More broth? <laughs> Add the two together. Hot. It was too hot. That's delicious. Mmm, sticky, chewy mutton. Gosh. I love it. It's like I got the broth, I, I got the William. meat, the He's, perfect marriage. I just like said father that was and mother. Match is the taste. The match is the taste, he says. Mmm, this is good stuff, man. The kids are having recess, and we are at an all out sprint. Next, in a hot oiled pan, add curry leaves, dried chilies, shallots, garlic, and ginger paste. Wow. All these ingredients just get nice and happy together inside. Can I eat it now? Can I eat now? <laughs> oh, I'm just, I was joking. But thank you. <laughs> add in yeah, Umu Gum's homemade masala, reintroduce the meat, then bring back a bit of broth until it becomes thick. I'm really learning my kid here. Here we go, that it's really done. Looks Look good. at this masterpiece. Holy it cow. It looks so good. What I can't believe is this. This was a whole sheep like a few hours ago. And then now we'll look at all this food. This is incredible. How many people can eat this? When you're my I think he said if they're my size, we can feed four or five people. <laughs> Mesmerizing. It's just very rich, oily. I'm gonna just start with an onion. Onion is good. Oh, you know it's good when even the onions are good. It soaked up all the flavor. <gasps> are you saying suck it? You guys, they put literally every bone of the sheep into this beautiful creation. Oh, you have a bone too? Yeah. Mm. Cheers. I want to get the marrow out because the marrow is sweet. Wow, warm, rich, fatty. All the marrow is gone from inside now. It just sucked right out. Dang. Yeah. Yes, you got to be determined to get this bone marrow out. Here's a nice piece. Oh, oh. Good. This blend of seasonings is just so delicious. The cumin's coming through, the peppercorn, every part is perfectly cooked. You kind of never know what you're biting into, but that's kind of the fun of it. What is your favorite part? Liver. Liver. Let's try some uh, liver. I am not a liver person. Mmm, genuinely delicious. Oh my god. The final thing we have to do, we're going to share all this food with these kids next. So stop eating it. No, I'm just kidding. There's a storm coming And I need a hand to hold With the fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago We are taking care of the children with the family mm. Me, my mom and dad and my wife our main goal is to give good education to the kids and our hope is in coming generation they will be a engineer, a doctor, mm. a lawyer. But what about a food show host? Would that be okay if they hosted a food show? <laughs> yeah. That would be okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Oh. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about those years ago. For Village Food Factory, their plan is to keep going, keep making more fun food videos. And as their channel grows, they've even considered shooting around and outside of India. Wow, as far so as they're concerned, the possibilities are endless. Was the mutton good? Yummy! Success! Did I keep thinking about those years ago? Finally, the best ever India road trip has come to an end. From Mumbai to Chennai, we've traveled hundreds of miles and met locals who've made lifelong impressions. This is the India I know. Hospitable, friendly, kind, and always willing to share some damn good food. It has been a huge pleasure meeting you today, working with you, and most of all, trying your food and learning about your success. So thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Also, Irfan, thank you for introducing me to everybody. Please subscribe to these guys. They're doing tons of huge scale, interesting food videos. Please subscribe to this guy. He's doing food reviews throughout India and soon beyond India. And if you're traveling to Vietnam, let me recommend adventuring alongside a guide from One Trip. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. Peace! Peace.
<laughs> Very nice. Simon says jump. <laughs> Simon says stop jumping. Simon says say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> 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 I've never heard of the uh, food review or food review. I've never heard of the food review show. The one we just watched. I'm sorry. Village Food Factory. I've seen it on like um, Facebook or Instagram. Oh, have you really? Yeah. yeah that looks really cool. I, 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 I like this episode too because I think this was the first one we've seen where he was basically just in one spot in for one meal uh, um, oh, versus yeah. the other ones have been all over. Uh, that was that was really cool to watch the food. Ended up looking really, really good, too. Um, and I didn't know this was the last video. I think we might have one more. We may have missed one more. Or maybe a couple in there, maybe. I don't know. There might be a couple of videos in there we didn't check out. But uh, I liked it. It was good. What did you guys think? I thought that was awesome. It was, like, really odd when they blew up the lungs. I thought that was the best part. I thought it looked cool. And how pink they were. Yeah, they do look really healthy. Yeah. Uh, but that was pretty scary and off-putting. Um, <laughs> scary, man. Uh, but it looked really good. It reminded me of chicken tikka masala. Do you, you say that like in all these food episodes? She don't just you? wants me to make. Is that just the one you want? <laughs> sure, didn't remind you of Top Gun. <laughs> Or Mission Impossible? Yeah. Did this video remind you of Mission Impossible at all? I wonder Chris? if I can eat what any food I can eat. You mean you wonder how many babies can I fit in I don't know. I couldn't eat the naan and I couldn't eat the rice. Yeah, no naan and no rice. The meat though, it depends what kind of sauce and all that's in the meat. Yeah. I'll, versus I'll that, that. So, Trinity, we're, she's kind of doing a keto thing right now. Uh, as am I. And Troy kind of-ish. Maybe. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to do it. Uh, <laughs> Rachel, what'd you think? Do what? uh, <clears throat> sorry, it looked like it was a lot of fun for them. I just yeah. loved the little kids. They were absolutely adorable. <laughs> they definitely I wanna, were. I, I, I want to take a trip. <laughs> yeah, but you can't bring any of them back. Yes, I can. No. Mm, I'll bring sorry. them all back if I can. Sorry. sorry. Yeah, there's kidnapping yeah. as there's a crime. A, there's laws and against we will turn you in. We will turn you in. Then I'll stay there. Oh. In jail. No. You'll stay there in jail. <laughs> in prison doing time. Hard time in India, Rachel. For kidnapping kids. We'll come visit you and put you on a vlog or something. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, I'll we'll... never see any all again. Hey, then she'll be the new orange. It ain't our you kidnap children. The new, oh yeah. We, we just did our civil duty and turned in a criminal. Uh, Troy, what'd you think? Uh, I thought it was a pretty cool video. I don't, I can't eat organs. Like, animal organs. Babe, what I you love mean? you, but what do you think you eat when I give you, like, steak and stuff like that i there's stuff that you eat that you don't realize you're eating organs i don't like steak yeah right you're not eating I don't like pork i don't like okay. chicken oh i haven't done that yet i've thought about it though but, um, <laughs> what <laughs> uh, but the actual meat itself the mutton part like that that looked good yeah like that that all looked good yeah um there was something like else i was gonna say but i kind of got lost and i forgot what it was so, so we'll gonna... move on to jordan yeah i liked it i have had goats before i had goats too actually and i watched like the whole process of you know draining the blood and skinning it and all that it was really cool yeah. to see it was weird too jordan person. jordan demanded to be to bathe in the blood as it was flowing oh my down. god oh, like for it. real i was like come on jordan what the, what's wrong with you man seriously <sighs> this guy over here i did not <laughs> jordan when you get better boxing between the two of you <laughs> yes okay oh that's fine Probably someone's so much more dead? jacked than he is. He's gonna be still all weak. Yeah, but the uh, problem of it is, is you gotta remember uh, he may be smaller than you when that happens, but he'll be quicker. Yeah, it don't matter. I'm not gonna be smaller than me either. Yeah, he will be. He's, anyway. gonna, he's gonna give up. I mean, look yeah. at this man. <laughs> I remember. Nope. Look at him. Uh, anything else you wanted to add? Belly flub. Anything else you wanted to add? Yeah. Uh, I really liked the video. I thought it was really cool. I like seeing like whole animal cook and all that. I think it's yeah, they utilized everything, even the freaking bones. Yeah, I did the know eyeballs. That was really good. The eyeballs in there looking up. Yeah. I, I like, wonder how We should watch the one where he drinks it's the really blood sweet. and all it that. It can be sweet. It can be savory. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm fine with gore for the most part. For some reason, the blood, blood part, like the drinking of it, that can get to me a little bit. I don't know. that. A little bit. A this little is the man watch who watches all these horror movies where people get sliced and diced and, and there's blood half. everywhere, goes to the hospital, sees his sister getting blood taken, and it passes out. Diced. Uh, Troy, what'd you think? <laughs> oh, okay. So I remember <laughs> I what I was going to say. I, I liked his reaction when he was like, how long did it take you guys to start making money off YouTube? Like, oh, three yeah. Months. Three months. And he was He's like... like what? And, they, and then they said they bought a house in like seven months and he was like, yeah. what is going on? 
So I, I thought that was pretty funny. I, well, it was a good, uh, good video. Once again, best ever food review show. Uh, never fails to uh, impress. Yeah, definitely Ooh. impress. And let us know once again if there's any other if his other destinations that he went to that you guys would like us to check out. I, but I do looking back, I do think we might have a couple more. We need to watch the village. Food um, we might have a couple more of the indie ones still that he's done to uh, yeah. to check out. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'd like to check out the uh, the village uh, food factory. Food factory. Mm -hmm. As well, I'm very curious now that we've seen them on this one, uh, how their show is because it sounds like it's really good. It looks like they uh, make a lot of good food too because there's some fun, some food they were showing uh, looked super good. So definitely like to check it out. Uh, but let us know down in the comments what you guys thought and uh, maybe what some of your favorite dishes that you enjoy. It's always good to Shake hear. Trinity and you can just throw keeps, some recipes out there. Maybe I'll end up cooking that. one soon. Tr yeah, Rachel might cook, cook some more. She did a great job the, the few times she's done it. So, uh, yeah. Once again, thank you guys so much for all your love and support of the channel. You guys are awesome. Love y'all. Bye, guys. That's what it's called. Ready? And three best ever food <coughs> review show. Oh, 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 oh.